What is up guys, Jordan here with Objective City Tutorials Lesson 13, Extending Your Program. And this lesson will be a little bit different because we actually won't have a keynote. That is right. We know everything that we need to know for this lesson. So we won't be uh, learning really anything new per se. I will be going over a few new aspects of things that we have talked about but we're just really going to be extending our program and really making it easy to uh, extend and add features in the future as well as right now so uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it now since this is a vacation budget and you don't just vacation in one country you may want to add different budgets for each of the different countries that you may be going to so there's really two ways of doing this. The first would be to simply add a budget here for every time you go to another country. So let's say we're going to be going to England. And then you copy and paste these functions. And then you replace this with the country. And then, of course, you add in all the information up here and you pretty much just retype the entire program every single time you need to add a new country now that may be very simple and easy let's say if you're gonna only add three countries in the whole program but if you're gonna be extending it in the future and whenever you extend a program now you always want to be looking into the future of how easy it will be the next time you want to extend it even further so that really wouldn't be a sane approach right now because it would be very messy and complicated and easy to mess up in the future when you're adding let's say five ten countries to this program not that you necessarily would but you never know you always want to make it easy to extend so the more sane approach would be if you simply added uh, an argument that could handle one of these uh, struct variables. So if you simply typed in budget, and then I'm just gonna do either budget as the variable name, and then put either budget right here. This would allow it so every time, all you have to do is edit in main and because this can take either budget you it could uh, send it vacation budget or vacation budget England so it's easy to extend when adding other countries so now up here I'm just gonna add the budget that I'm actually gonna be using and then up here and spend dollars budget either budget and let's build and run save all okay so everything built and ran correctly but oh what is that yes that says a thousand dollars why in the world does it say a thousand dollars well if you remember when we went over functions a few lessons ago whenever you use an argument it is copied so right here vacation budget the budget since it's part of the argument now it is copied so it copies a thousand dollars so it's not actually using anything from down here when it had the operations done on it on spend dollars it's just a copy of it right here that's all you're using so since that's the case it doesn't look like this would work out but you're forgetting something very important pointers now even though we've gone over pointers before we really haven't used them quite in this way so the first thing I'm gonna go over is uh, the main thing that we want to get access to is we want to get the address of the budget whatever budget is that we're going to be using because when you get the address of this budget it, whether it's the budget for England, Spain, Brazil, whatever the country is you then get access to all the members inside so 
we're working with just vacation budget right now so you use the and sign remember because that gives us the address and then we're going to be giving that address we're going to be passing it to the arguments down here so we use the deference operator and when you uh, have when you work with objects or structures and they have members you use a different type of deference operator you use kind of this arrow looking one which is a dash and then the greater sign so it's kind of like either budget and then pointing inside to the budget and then of course make sure in the function prototype that you mimic exactly what you typed right here otherwise you'll have some problems and then you can build and run and save all now everything worked fine so now that we really understand what we need to do to extend this program we're going to be adding an england budget and then one for europe so we're going to be changing some names around and then we're going to be adding a whole nother budget and everything so let's get to it Thank you.